All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is my 2022 GMC Yukon XL. This is the SLE trim, but it has the Duramax engine, the 3 liter Duramax 10 speed transmission. I want to talk about shifting the two wheel drive, four wheel drive system, and how that works on this. Okay, so we're in the Yukon here. Uh, we've had this uh, about 10,000 miles now, uh, probably eight, nine months so far. Really liked it. It's actually a snowy day today. Uh, the roads are getting drier now, but one thing I've noticed driving this in like uh, like snow or ice, or, you know, slushy roads, things like that, when it's in two-wheel drive, it actually, it, 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 it feels like it loses traction very easily because it's, when it's in two-wheel drive and the normal, normal mode, the, there's just one rear wheel moving in the back and it seems like it really loses traction easily especially if you just give it a little bit of, you get a little you get a little, little bit of gas and it just will like move out wheels will slip on it pretty easily so one thing i've been trying to learn is what mode should i be putting it in so that it's going to be safer to drive in you know these snow ice winter conditions down here by the door panel is the uh kind of the mode selector as well as the transfer case selector so no the normal mode is going to be two wheel drive so when it's in two wheel drive that's obviously you know the, the one rear wheel is moving uh, there's this one doesn't have the max tow package the max tow package gives you a two speed transfer case where you have four high four low so this just has four high two high and then it has an auto mode and with automatic mode we learned from the uh, owner's manual here i actually had to go into the owner's manual to find out exactly how and when to push those buttons because I didn't know if you could just, you know, I'm going like 30 miles an hour right now. I don't know if I could just put it right into four wheel drive and, or if I have to be stopped or put it into neutral. And so that's what I want to talk about today in the video. So here's our uh, four wheel drive selector here. So the four high, this is the, uh, that puts it in four wheel drive high. Two high is the kind of the default. And we have auto and we'll talk about this um, in just a minute here so here up on the on the gauge right here where our, uh, our rpm gauge is it tells us we're in too high and then this is normal mode so there's basically two ways that we can change the driving dynamics of the vehicle we can change it into to four-wheel drive and then we could and then we can also change the mode off-road towing mode like this so if we go in if we if i toggle this so i'm just going to turn this dial here to the left on the screen here so now it's in sport mode when it's in sport mode you get a little flag next to the four-wheel drive if we turn it again that goes off-road mode off-road mode would be good if it, if you're doing you know any kind of off-road situation snow or ice and then the final one is going to be tow haul and that turns on the exhaust brake and then if i turn it again so again i'm just doing this with this here so i'm just going to leave it in normal mode so normal is kind of the standard one thing i'm learning though is do i have to put it in neutral do i have to put it into uh do I have to be stopped? Do I have to be going under a certain speed to be able to shift from too high to four high or to auto automatic mode? Now, I think the best for my situation is, is if I could just put it into auto. So auto mode, automatic mode here says, uh, use auto when road surface conditions are variable. When driving an auto, the front axle is engaged and vehicle power is sent to the front and rear wheels automatically based on driving conditions. So that's going to be kind of the ideal like if it's just you know there's a little bit of snow out today you know there's some dry and wet patches on the road so that's where i do that now i can switch from from too high over to four high and to auto mode at any time at any speed here which i didn't know that metal shift between too high four high and auto uh can be made at normal driving speeds so you don't have to be parked. You don't have to be in neutral. You can just shift that at any time. So I can just I can just come over here. So just driving down the road, I can put it into auto. Now when I push auto, see here on the screen? So it flashes while it's shifting, and then when it's done shifting, it just will turn solid. So see how it says auto right there? Now if I push the button four high, I'm going to push the four high button. while. Now I'm not driving right now, but... It will work so that's what it looks like when it's in four high and then back to two high it's two wheel drive that's really want to keep it for regular regular use if you have a two-speed transfer case you would have the, the you'd have the four low button here instead this is called terrain mode and with terrain mode you have to be in four wheel drive in order to use terrain mode so if I touch on terrain mode here if I, and I look on the dash here 
select four high for terrain mode. So I have to be in four high first. I push four high and then I can go into terrain mode. So terrain mode's used when traveling on rough roads, very low speeds, two track heavy rutted roads. Also, pulling a boat out of the water, what it does is it shifts automatically, but it'll hold a lower gear to maximize engine torque. This mode has unique pedal map. Uh, so terrain mode is available only with four wheel drive engaged. Now, if you do have four low, four low, you have to be in neutral and going less than two miles per hour in order to switch uh, into four low. Four low is kind of the you know the high four wheel drive uh, mode. That you'd really you need or you need maximum uh, torque on the front wheels. Uh, this doesn't have it. This just has four high. So we have the terrain mode instead of the four four low. Uh, but f auto is a good, for me, auto is a good mode to be in when it's wet, ice, slush, snow. If I put it in auto, and then if I need a little extra help, I could go to off-road mode. So I put it in auto and then off-road mode. That would really be ideal for just driving around town and if it's going to be slipping. Now, one thing it did caution is you do not want to drive around in four high or four low mode on dry pavement. It said it can ruin the four-wheel drive system. So you want to make sure you're off-road or tires are slipping or ice or things like that to drive around in, in four-high mode. One thing I think is interesting is the traction control. When it's in two-wheel two drive, it doesn't seem like the traction control works that great because I've been able to slip out pretty... Uh, the, whole, the back end was able to get pretty loose when I was driving around just in two-wheel drive in normal mode. It doesn't seem like the traction control really, really catches you. I was on the freeway, and it was really slushy, and I gave it just a little bit of gas, and it just starts moving the back quite a bit. It can be kind of scary. So um, I'm not sure how the traction control is supposed to help with that. So it's almost like you have to, pre to prevent that, go into auto mode, put it in off-road mode if you have those kind of situations, and that's going to really help limit that. But So guys, the point of the video is you can switch it into four high, or too high or auto while you're driving. You don't have to be parked or neutral to do that. So now you know. All right, we're gonna do a demo right here. So we're going 25 miles an hour, and I'm just gonna reach over here. I'm gonna put it into, I'm gonna touch the four wheel drive button, four high. See how four high is just flashing? And once it stops flashing, it's in gear. So all good, no issues, no, nothing was grinding, no issues or problems there. Now I'm going to push too high just to kind of go back, I'm slowing down here, but uh, it shouldn't matter. You can do it at any speed. And back in two-wheel drive now. So that goes for the auto, automatic, for auto mode as well. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave your comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.